Well, this week we've been giving you an exclusive look inside Perth's landmark project like you've never seen them before. Today, we're going to get a look inside perhaps the most talked about of those projects. Of course, Elizabeth Key. Digging out the inlet is set to be finished within months. And once the excavation is complete, work can then begin on building the island, the bridge and the public space around the water with work there totalling about $440 million. It's due to be complete in about 12 months and then attract $2.2 billion in private investments. Oil and gas giant Chevron will build its headquarters there, while a Ritz-Carlton hotel is also in the works. And the good news is we get to see Josh Uger one last time for the week in all of his high-vis glory. G'day, Josh. <laughs> Morning, Tim. How are you going? You would have thought after all this week of wearing this stuff, I would have some qualification or, or trade, but nothing, nothing. <laughs> but to tell you where we are, it's hard to believe this, this used to be a park. Riverside Drive used to go through right there. Now, when this is all finished, when we had that $2 billion worth of investment pumped into this area, we'll see a Ritz-Carlton hotel and some apartments built right there near the bell tower. Over in the northeast corner will be Chevron's headquarters. Where I'm standing will be quite a big uh, landing. It'll be a big public space with boardwalks um, where kids can go down to the water, even get their feet wet. This is the inlet wall. Many people would be surprised at how much work has gone into getting this done. It goes down about 18 metres. Um, it, it, water will start being let in about uh, mid-2015. Uh, mid I'm joined by Project Director Richard Mickle. Good morning, Richard. Morning, Josh. How much work has actually gone into getting to this point? Well, an enormous amount. We started about two, a little over two years ago with the first spade in the ground. Uh, all the Ford works was completed uh, by mid uh, late last year, and the current contractor to do the public realm, he's commenced on site uh, progressively in the last quarter of last year. How do you go about now um, getting rid of all this, all this, uh, all this dirt to to create the full-on inlet? Well, most of the dirt will remain within the inlet for quite a long time, and probably the first quarter, second quarter next year, the bulk of the dirt will be removed, um, and there won't be a breaking of the bun, so to speak. It'll be a, a gradual, controlled ingress of water. We'll let the groundwater build up. So there'll be no no full-on rushing, no. no sort of Moses parting of the Red Sea. No, no, no dramatics. No, it has to be very much a controlled environment to protect the river. We have to go through a process of agreeing a process with the Swan River Trust, uh, with the contractor, uh, and it'll be barely more than a trickle to balance the level between the river and what this fills up to be, and let the material settle out of the water that resides in here before we break the, clear the rest of the bund away. So in, t in the middle of that lin inlet will be an island and a bridge. What are some of the logistical challenges in, in building that? Well, what we've done to reduce construction costs is build a landing right where the bridge is. So in fact, in the extreme southwest of the site, where the bridge goes is actually all been filled into the river. That reduces the construction cost for the bridge. We can build it all in the dry, so to speak. Um, and we will then remove the dirt from beneath the bridge after the bridge is complete. And, and where we're building, where we're standing is a public space. Just quickly, what work goes into creating all this space? Well, we've got the inlet wall, as you just described. There's about 850 metres of that complete now. The contract is now breaking it back down to the top of what will be a slab that comes into the public realm from here. There'll be the lower landing. Then there'll be a series of steps up to what then meets up with the new Riverside Drive location, which is about 40 metres away. And down in front of this, there'll be a couple of timbers uh, landing areas that go down into the water so there's that proximity to the water's edge. Well no worries, thank you very much Richard. Now we are aware of that storm front coming through and I know Tim how much you would love to see me get drenched but at 8.30 we'll take some drier ground but we'll still have quite a unique look over this project. Like a big kid in a big sandpit. Good on you Josh. Thank you.